paano lumago ang inyong kayamanan? Ah, yes, kasi ang galing ng kanyang investment eh. Ah. Ay, ang, ang investment niya, nung pumasok ako ng bahay niya, yung ilalim ng basement ng bahay, puro ginto. Tapos, sabi kong ganyan, aba, grabe ito. At saka, ano puro ginto? Yung basement niyo sa... Sa Sanman, oo, oo. Nakita niyo, puro ginto. Ginto. O, ano sinabi niya? Saan niya nakuha yung ginto? Sabi, kasi abogado siya ng, ng mga Benguet, Atlas, Banto, oh. nung before the war. Kaya kasi nung nag, naging top-notcher siya, ang pinili niya, hindi mga iba-ibang corporations, kundi Mina. Naniniwala siya sa gold. You mean to say he bought the gold? With his earnings. And he traded, and he, so, with his earnings, and then he traded in gold. And bakit hindi, hindi, na, hindi na alaman ng sambayanan yan? Tapos, bakit nung bumalik siya, hindi, hindi siya nagsumbong? Na, ganun pa wala naman maniniwala ito. sa kanya. Kasi nun man siya noon, at saka ang uh, under the American rule, 45 noon. Katapos, okay. pagbalik niya, nung nakita niya na uh, itong ganun nangyari, sabi niya, forget the money. We, need, we want our independence. True enough, ito, nagka-independence kami ng 46 na hindi tayo binigyan ng veterans. Mula noon, makikita, meron akong mga dokumento, he started trading on gold. When he had about 6,000, 7,000 tons, he entered politics. 7,000 tons? Yes, I have the documents. I have all the documents. You, you are telling me, Mrs. Marcos, and, and, and that gold, he had 7,000 tons, tons in the basement of your house in... Something like that. Eh di, nakulog na yung bahay niya sa weight of that. Hindi, the basement na, lupa na yun eh. 32, 32 dollars. Ang, 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 meron akong dokumento lahat niya. Okay. Meron akong kaso na mga ilang daan kaso. Mga 500, 800, puro panalo. Uh -huh. The trial of the century, nanalo ako. Wala akong nakaw. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wala akong nakaw ang Marcos. Uh -huh. eh, ilang taon na ito, 27 years kami tinatagtad. Uh -oh. eh, yung Swiss banks po nagsabi na, well, the Swiss uh, Supreme Court said na lahat yan eh, nasa gobyerno yan at talagang nakaw yun. Hindi ano na, sinas... paano na nakaw? Wala, ni, ni, ni gold, wala, walang gold uh -oh. ang central bank. Uh -oh. no? <laughs> eh, paano magkanakaw sa walang pagnanakawan? Uh -huh. Pagka makita ninyo ang, ang, ang mga dokumento namin, eh, ba't hindi nyo pinakita sa sa korte? Eh, wala Bakit naman maninig sa akin. Sino naman ako ngayon? Oh. But the most urgent reason I was looking forward to my coming to this hearing of the Philippine Senate is to seek your help, Honorable Senators, to help me implement the last will and testament of the late President Marcos to enlist assets in the hands of trustees to implement the Marcos Humanitarian Foundation so that we can help the country in our economic crisis and help the Filipino people in their agony and suffering. Uh -huh. The 20 years na pagka-presidente ni Marcos, uh -huh. hindi siya tumanggap ng sweldo, generation lahat yun sa UP College of Law. So, san, san da ho Pero din yung akin, uh -huh. eh pumunta sa KB noon kasi inuupisahan pa lang yung kabataan pa ng guide na Opo. natag ni Amy, Opo. aming panganay na anak. Opo. Hindi kami nagsisweldo. Uh -huh. Ang katotohanan, si Marcos may konting kaya na na nung bago siya maging presidente, mag, bago, lalo na bago pa siya mag maging Pangulo? Uh, uh -huh. Uh, pangulo o oh. bago kami nag-asawa sapagkat ang aming honeymoon after 11 days or months ay eh, nag-round the world tour kami at saka mm -hmm. binigyan na po napakalaking um, itong sing-sing na brilyante so, so, ibi ibi mabibigay ng mahisang mahirap oh, so ibig sabihin talagang binili nyo ito ng legal at hindi nakaw uh, madam sinasabi nung ilang eh, alam nyo alam mo igan itong oh. 23 years na ito at saka, o simpleng arithmetic. Opo. Ang total budget ni Corazon Aquino was double that of Marcos in 20 years. Opo. Yung 20 years ni Marcos sa pagka-presidente, tingnan ninyo sa yearbook Opo. ng ating National Statistic Office. Opo. Makikita ninyo ang budget ni Marcos ang 20 years, 486,273,000. Si Cory, 
in six years, more than double one trillion seventy-seven eight hundred ninety-five trillion. Mm -hmm. More than double. Sabit mitik lang pa pano magnanako si Marcos? Opo. Nang so, nang nang ganyan pero sa matalang twenty years at alam naman ninyo. Opo. Nung naging presidente si Marcos, eh wala lahat. Wala tayong bigas. Nagpilipilan tao ng bigas. Nag Tapos, eh, nag later on, nag-export nag oh. tayo. So, oh, Ang unang katungkulan ng gobyerno at pamalaan, a justice to all. Oh, ano ito? 23 years na katapos, ginawa ng core government, ina itong she alienated our judicial right to, to America. Nagpayong signature si Salonga with um, Secretary of Justice to South Juan, United Opo. States. Ina-alienate yung aming judicial rights at saka yung ambassador din pala is guaranteed our conviction. Pani naman. Opo. Madam. Hindi no ako doon doon iaabla sa, sa abroad. Opo. Madam. Ang kailangan natin talagang pagtang kaagad yung ating principal law, our constitution. Opo. Kasi itong constitution na 87, bungkos ito. Mm -hmm. Pagka ginawa ito, nang hindi nanalo na presidente. Opo. The fact that the uh, eh, hindi ito, hindi ito legal na, 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 at saka, na constitution. Opo, madam. And, and, and that's our principal law. Okay. Kapagkat ginawa lang yan ng isang user, pero pagkatapos ginawa lang, inapport ang mga members niya. Opo. Tama. Taong 1990, naganap ang sinasabing trial of the century kung saang milyong dolya ang kinwestyon kay Imelda sa kasong fraud at racketeering. Dito sa gym sa likod ng bahay na Katago, ang mga dokumentong nagpapatunay raw na not guilty ang pamilyang Marcos tungkol sa questionableng mga kayamanan. Nakaayos sa mga ito na tila nakaabang sakali mang mga ilangan sila ng ebidensya anumang oras. We're entering the, the documents of the trial of the century. Oh! Here. 170 banks that Marcos deposited money on. These are the hundreds, 350,000 documents used against me. Now, all of that, all the mines, all the banks of the world, 170 banks of the world, and I have the bill of lading. And these are all U.S. government exhibit. All of this. Just to show you the bill of lading. How much is Two hundred forty million dollars. Oh my goodness. Is it million? Billion. Billion. Billion? Two hundred forty billion? <sighs> Only one shipment. And these are plenty of shipments. You can find sketches. Lucia, I started them all of this. Mm-hmm. Baralco. 2,900 hectares, that green fields, Alabang. Mm -hmm. That's all ours. I was going to build a satellite city for the poor. So, no, we are not the thieves. These are the people. Mrs. Marcos, if we go by all of these, you are, you are rich beyond compare. No, this, this, this will save the world. The world. The world. Yeah, this, just... this is the reason why I want to survive. And it's not for me anymore. So, Mrs. Marcos, are you saying you're open to giving some or a, 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 an amount of this one to the country, to the Filipinos? Well, not, not only the Filipinos, but the world. So, what are you waiting for before you can attain your, your, uh, no, your uh, you know, intention? With this, now we are tied our hands. We, with the whole press saying we are Magnanaka, we are the Magnanaka, kami ni nakawan. Mm -hmm. We are the one who took it. Marcos suffered so much for this. Ang naging depensa raw ni Imelda para maipanalo ang kaso, bago pa man raw naging presidente si Ferdinand, may mga ipong ginto na raw ito na lumaki ng lumaki ang halaga paglipas ng panahon. When we started, it was $32 and then $35. 
an ounce of gold. She's talking okay. of gold. Now it's one thousand three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, eight hundred. Bagi iba iba, iba iba. Ounce yan. And we are sitting on gold. Did you know I won my case in New York on my 60th birthday? I know, I was there! Yeah. I covered you! Okay. And then you had a small party in that small uh, Filipino uh, pub. Yeah. You know, after, after, in, in, after the court, everybody went to that small Filipino pub. Punong, punong, puno ng tao. Hindi ka makahinga. Kasi chest to chest na ang dami ng tao dun sa... Nagkaroon na ko ng pan eh. Imagine alone, widowed, orphan, first lady of a third country, winning the case of the century. Yes. <laughs> okay. without, without a penny, without... I did not have one piece of document or one witness. I could not afford any of them. Pero naghanda na ba kayo at that time, ma'am? May pinaghandaan na ho ba kayo? Na kung sakasakali, eh, ako eh, hindi maka, ano, ay makonvict ako. Uh, were there already, the, uh, I was, I, ako, I am resigned to whatever the Lord um, uh, has planned for me. Anyway, I have always followed whatever they say about the good, the true, and the beautiful. And that is God being, uh, made, is, that is God made real. So, um, I followed that, that path. And if you're in that path, you're in the path of God and the truth. Nobody can touch you. Can you imagine? I have now 986 cases. Mm -hmm. And all of them I won. And these cases are not filed by individuals. They are filed by government. By government. superpowers. Oh, and I have about 10 more. But I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. I'm at peace with the truth. Maging ang kanyang dalawang anak na sina Bongbong at Aimee ay kapwa may pwesto ngayon sa gobyerno. Mrs. Marcos, you have entered politics again and so has your family. Senator Bongbong is uh, in the Senate. We have uh, Aimee as the governor in, uh, in Ilocos. Huh? It's, not, it's not for the honor or the pride. I've been first lady there and all of that on top of the heap for a long time. No, 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 not for that. It is the privilege for be able to give to love. Do you, um, do you foresee, do you foresee another Marcos in Malacanang? Well, you know, you, I am only happy that my children, in spite of the fact that we have been so persecuted because of politics, the whole family, the children still love the, 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 the Filipino people and the country. Believe na believe ako sa mga anak ko. Gaya ng kontradiksyon sa bansag sa kanya na Iron Butterfly, ganun din marahil ang buod ng buhay ni Imelda. Parehas niyang natamasa ang kapangyarihan at prosekusyon. Parehas siyang minahal at kinamuhian. Ngunit sa kabila ng lahat ng ito, tulad ng isang paru-paru, pilit pa rin siyang lumilipan. Uh, I did not have the privilege of interviewing Mrs. Marcos in New York because she was, wow, she was really so guarded. But now, I now have the privilege of doing it. Before I retire from my career, <laughs> and, you are, this and, you are, I, and, and you have the nerve to ask me shocking questions. <laughs> are they shocking? Really? Are they shocking questions? <laughs> some, some wouldn't dare. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, but I think I would because I am coming yes. with a... Uh, no, no, I am coming okay. with a very because, clear conscience. I believe in transparency. Anyway, I have oh. nothing to hide. Correct. Let me now thank you very much for this interview. Mm -hmm. It has been real, a real pleasure uh, talking with you, and uh, we wish you all the luck in the world for all the good intentions that you have for yeah. our people and our country. Well, thank you. I need it. I, I need it because the Lord uh, intended this to be paradise mm -hmm. and to be there forever and gave us His own image, each one of us and be a great creator and we can do so much and i that's why i'm praying that uh, we we can really fulfill and it's doable if you say it's doable it is doable it is doable maraming salamat po
deposit in the name of Ferdinand Marcus in a bank in Brussels and it's for nine it's for nine hundred and eighty seven billion dollars. Four hundred thousand metric tons are in the central bank of the Philippines. There's over two hundred thousand metric tons in Union Bank of Switzerland. And some of that gold is buried securely in the Philippines as well. Some of it is held in various banks, but the bulk of it is in the Philippines. So the World Bank holds the note on that gold? No. It is in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos, and the authorized signatory is a German banker lawyer by the name of Wolfgang Strzok, who also lives in the Philippines. So how do, how do the people get the gold back? If it's their gold and it was taken by these bankers, how do we receive it? That is, that is the question. And they're just sitting there illegally and refusing to relinquish it. Part of the problem is that it's, this gold is cloaked in secrecy. But in the last month, uh, Wolfgang Strzok has been publishing all of the documentation. So it's there for people to see. We have the originals. And people just have to make sure that the banks do what they're required to do, which is release the world's wealth. But I can tell you uh, this, that um, we never spent uh, government funds for our personal purposes. If we did, we replaced them immediately. I may have committed many sins in my life, but stealing money from the people and from the government is not one of them.